Arnhem Spelts Farms coming at you today with an addition to the uh, flower sifting area. Um, we need to pick up a little bit of speed, even though we like our sifter that we currently have, which is um, the Como style. Um, we picked up uh, one of these um, foreign jobbers, just a vibrating sieve, and a um, bunch of different screens for it. And what I found is I really like the 40. Um, the 40 uh, mesh is just perfect for our flower. So here I'm grinding some soft wheat. Um, and I've got the machine set up. It's really a simple show video, folks, because literally I put the ground wheat um, in there and vibrate it away and get our flower out. I've got right now the mill set up um, so that uh, I'm grinding about maybe 50% um, as far as how fine I'm grinding it. And then I'm dumping it here into the sifter and it literally vibrates the flower out of it. It's, it's that nice of a machine. It's a lot louder um, than my previous sifter that I really, really like. And I plan on still using my previous sister, sifter that I really, really like. Um, but I'm going to have that set up with the finest screen I can um, to make the, the finest pastry flour um, that I can get. Versus this, I'm going to be using for more of our everyday uh, bread and baking flour. So that's kind of my game plan. And this also increases speed because when you're running two sifters, um, you can keep up with the big grinder, um, which is very, very helpful um, on, the, on the farm and the homestead. Right now, we're probably grinding, you know, maybe four pounds a week. And uh, that may not seem like much, but if you can get it done in, you know, 15 minutes, that's, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, they give you this nice little pastry brush if you want to, you know, brush it along and kind of speed it up. And for the sake of the video, because I've got nothing to do while it's vibrating away, I'm just kind of playing with it and sifting it around. Um, you can buy multiple screens from these. They have screens from 20 all the way up to what looks to be 80 or 90. I think that'd be way too fine for what I'm doing. Um, and, and I'm sure 20 might be too open. So as you can see, it's vibrating away. The grinder's running here. Um, and again, this is what it looks like when it comes through about 50% ground. This is what the flower looks like when it, when it comes out. Now I could do a more coarse grind and then double sift it and probably achieve a little bit more, um, you know, flour out of it. Um, but again, for sake of time, and we're just making good old breads out of this, this works, this works really good. Um, how we make our bread out of this type of flour, um, this is a soft wheat, like I said, is we mix it, the flour 50% with the hard wheat, and basically we make our own um, organic AP flour on the farm. So. Um, this is, this is how we like to make our flour. I've got several videos out on us grinding it and, and sifting it. And, and again, I've got a little station here in the uh, fruit cellar that I do this in. But again, we're adding this machine to it and it's working great. And I'm very pleased. If you have any questions about how this works, um, I'd like you to just, you know, post a comment and I'll, I'll try to answer it. As far as the final product goes in the green bowl is the bran that's left and in the white bowl is the flour that's left. And uh, this is the natural way that we grind and natural way we sift. And this new sifter hopefully will help us out on the farm. Thanks for watching um, our homestead channel. Please like or subscribe and continue to support us.